<laughs> oh, Terry Bazzani again. <laughs> oh, boy. <I'm> stuck. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the Pistons! How much did TJ drink last night? What'd you say? How much did TJ drink last night? I had to see this guy with some beers. It was good. He, dude, he's a big dude. He, yeah. He was big, 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 big guys, when they drink, they don't necessarily get drunk. No, no, and he doesn't have to work till four. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, it was a great time last night. Uh, Killer's annual uh, Christmas deal at the Lodge. Uh, raising a lot of money for a lot of charities around the area. Craig Monroe had an unbelievable jacket. Like he, he, no matter where he goes, he has amazing jackets. Yeah. You know what? I think he's a great dude. He is a great dude. He, he, he moved his family up here, and uh, we were talking, and he, he's a really good guy. He gets made fun of by some people for being a slappy, but uh, he's a good dude. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also, we do want to point out, last night, the uh, Phoenix Suns beat the Pistons their seventh loss in a row. Phoenix winning their 18th straight. Without Devin Booker, uh, 114-103, Jeremy Grant, 34. Kate Cunningham, that's two really good shooting games in a row, so that's promising. 8 of 15, he had 19 points, 3 of 5 from uh, 3. The Pistons shot well, but Phoenix was 54% from the field. Yeah. They got a big lead in the Pistons. They cut it to uh, 1 in the third quarter, couldn't do it. Um, their next game, the Pistons are off to finally road trips over. The next game is Monday against the Oklahoma City Thunder at the Little Caesars Arena. The Thunder last night made history. No. Not in a way they won. They lost to the Memphis Grizzlies 152 to 79. Do the math, folks. 73 points. Not one of the Memphis players played more than 21 minutes. They had like nine, maybe nine or ten guys in double figures. Uh, that sets the NBA record for most of the biggest deficit. Uh, the Cavs uh, beat the Heat by 68 points in 1990. Oh. And if you think about it now, okay, Oklahoma City was missing uh, Shea Gilgis Alexander. John Morant didn't even play for Memphis either. Right. And oh. they still scored 152. They were rolling. Guess <laughs> you could say. <laughs> Thanks. Just can you imagine for the road game? You know, you spend money to see, you know, yeah. your team, the Oklahoma City Thunder, goes by 73. Thursday night football, the Cowboys over the Saints, 27-17. I, I know it was funny because Gator was at the uh, event last night, too, and I told Gator I bet on the Cowboys in the first half, minus three and a half, and the field goal was at the end, so I covered. So I got the Cowboys for the game, so he covered, too. Yes. So it was a good deal. And Gator's boy, Taysom Hill, he threw two touchdown passes. He had 101 yards rushing, but he also threw four picks, including a pick six. Yeah. Well, I mean, Kamara didn't play. You kind of knew that was and the Cowboys just trying to get healthy. That was actually surprising. It was only a 10 Yeah, and, and I think he did end up, well, he injured his, his throwing hand uh, in, like, the first half and played the rest of the game with it, too, because they just don't really, I mean, what is it, Trevor Simeon is, is their other yeah, option. Yeah, he had one good game. Yeah. Um, so they just, they don't have great options at that uh, at that quarterback well, position. I know, because it's my uh, under, under the radar uh, MVP guy got hurt. Yes, yeah. Yeah. All right, coming up on the program, we'll talk a lot about the uh, Big Ten Championship game. Danny Cannell, former Florida State quarterback, former NFL quarterback. He comes in on what he thinks is going to happen in this uh, deal with uh, college football. Also, we'll make our picks at 635. Heather has news next. Yeah, we're going to talk a little Antonio Brown. Plus, I'm going to tell you how you can get a whopper of a good deal today and tomorrow at Burger King. Up on the way up there. Uh -huh. Definitely. Yeah. Uh -oh. Lion fans are the greatest fans in all of sports. And BetMGM is celebrating them with a special offer on their favorite team. Sign up with BetMGM using the code STONY100 and make a $1 wager on it. The Lions game. Once the bet is placed, you'll receive $100 in free bets. It's that simple. And check out fan-friendly promotions like special odds boosts, early cash-out offers, sweepstakes, giveaways, and more. Download the app or go to betmgm.com and use Stony 100 to receive $100 when you make any $1 bet on the Lions game. Lions fans, now you're winning. The king of sportsbooks. Visit betmgm.com for terms and conditions. 
21 years of age or older to wager, Michigan only, no customer offer. All promotions are subject to qualification and eligibility requirements. Rewards issued as non-withdrawable free bets or site credit. Free bet expire seven days from issuance. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help. Exclude Michigan disassociated persons. 97.1 The Ticket. WWJ AMI 50 Traffic Center. Not much on the drive this early Friday morning. Traffic volumes are still pretty light at this hour and no major issues around existing road work. Now water main repairs continue. 14 mile west of Drake, there's a closure going on until further notice. And then 14 mile between Walt Lake Road and Decker Road, Novi Road, also closed for construction through later this month. You can use Maple in both areas. I'm Michelle Penny up with traffic. Run your local bookstore or the neighborhood boutique that everyone loves. Small businesses like yours make gift giving possible. Now, Comcast Business has a gift for you. Introducing the Gift of Savings Sale. For a limited time, ask how to get our best deal of the year on a gift bundle. You can get a $650 prepaid card when you switch to Comcast Business, the network that can deliver gig speeds to the most businesses. That's $650 to spend on whatever your business needs. You can even reward your team for another big year. Or if you want another way to save, you can also get started with Internet and Voice for $35 each a month when you buy both with a two-year price guarantee. So give your business the gift of savings today. Comcast Business, powering possibilities. Offer ends 1 2 22. Restrictions apply. New Comcast Business, 35 megabits per second internet and one voice mobility customers only. Early termination fee applies. Requires eco bill and armor bill. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. Call or go online for details. We often ignore what we know is coming until it gets here. Welcome to winter, Detroit. You hear only one thing I say right now. Listen to this. USA Insulation fixes cold homes. If your house is cold and drafty inside, whenever it's cold outside, you most likely have an insulation problem. You aren't alone. Most older homes do. The good news is that you can do something about it. USA Premium Foam injected into your walls is like wrapping a coat around your entire home. The cold air stays out and your warm air stays in. And there's something else we all know is coming this winter. Much higher heating cost. It's been all over the news. But USA Insulation can help. And right now, you can get a $500 discount on a whole home insulation. But that ends this month. So say goodbye to your cold and drafty home with one phone call. 1-800-USA-PHONE. That's 1-800-USA-PHONE. Or USAinstallation.net. USA Insulation. Join 97.1 The Ticket Street Team today from 7 until 9 at The Rock on 3rd and Royal Oak. You can win a ton of tickets to see the Detroit Lions on December 5th in the Miller Lite Tap Room. Get more info at 971theticket.com. Do you have three ex-wives and your current trophy wife wants a life insurance policy three times the size of the policies you had to purchase for your previous mistakes? If so, you need to call Big Lou, a term provider, 800-568-2790. Big Lou is intimately familiar with your problems. If you're 50 or 60 years old and in reasonably good health, a $1 million policy should only cost about $100 to $200 per month. Big Lou may have a solution for your previous policies as well. You may even save enough money to lighten the load on your new $1 million policy. Remember, call Big Lou. He's like you, except he's only on number two. Call Term Provider at 800-568-2790. That's 800-568-2790. For a million dollars in term life insurance that you can live with, call Big Lou at 800-568-2790. Vegas. 
97.1, the ticket studio line at 248-539-9797 to D Las Vegas, the home of Detroit sports in Vegas. Necessary Roughness with former NFL lineman DJ Lang and John Jensen. Download it today on the Odyssey app.
to a to a head in an investigation, and apparently he did fake this vaccination card. Now, Brown's attorney claims that no, 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 he is vaccinated, but his attorney says he's going to accept the suspension, and he's going to use the time to rehab an ankle injury. Um, also, two other players, Buccaneer safety Mike Edwards and former Tampa Bay receiver and current free agent John Franklin III were also suspended as well. It's, it's just as John as a teammate. I mean, he's got a, no matter what you think of vaccine, you don't lie like that. No. And it's different than Aaron Rodgers because of that, their investigation says the Packers, the NFL kind of knew what, what Rodgers was doing. Right. So, but he hid this stuff from his from own his team. teammates. And with all due respect, I'm trying not to be an ageist here because I'm certainly old. Starting you guys got like Bruce Arians, Tom Street. Moore, yeah. uh, exactly. Clyde Road. Christensen, yeah. guys who are really old and, and older and may be susceptible to, the, to, you know, COVID and it might affect them or even if they're vaccinated. It's just not, it's, it's such an Antonio Brown thing to do. Well, it is. And this is at a time, too, where um, Bruce Arians came out, you know, they were basically the first team that... In said 1.2 miles, turn left onto right. West 14 and Mile talked Road. about we were treating this like 2020. We're you know we're doing everything to make sure that everybody's safe, and they're trusting their players to to be honest with them. Right. Like if you're not going to get vaccinated, just say it. Right. How many guys across the NFL have said it, or across the NBA or the NHL? Like they've said it. Just be a man and say it. Don't lie about it. As a teammate, I mean, I I feel the mindset like. Especially how they how are they doing the next three games? I mean, do we really need them back? Well, that's that's a, that's going to be up to the organization. It's going to be up to Tom Brady probably because he brought him there. Yeah. And he, I think they kind of need him to win the Super Bowl. And well, I think that it's going to have a lot to do. With him. Well, it's it'll be interesting to see what happens. At the next but line, you're, but you're right. Left. If he was just a marginal player, gone. He'd be gone. Yeah. Um, you guys, you can go and get a Whopper of a deal at Burger King today and on Saturday. So the Whopper is turning 64 years old. And to celebrate, Burger King is giving it away for its original price of 37 cents. Oh, wow. Yeah. Turn the light. Turn left onto West 14 Mile Road. Then turn right onto oh, Inkster oh, Road. I mean, you have to use the app. Okay. I mean, it's kind of like, remember when McDonald's did this? I mean, it's yeah, very yeah. similar. So. It's exclusively to members of the chain's Royal Perks Reward Program. So you can only order it on the app, but that's basically the catch. You can only get one per account as well, so that's you can't okay. go and just get a ton of Whoppers. Oh, you can only get one? Once. You're, you're going to sell your information to them for one Whopper. At the stop sign, turn that's right onto Inkster Road. That's what they're information for. Right? Oh, John, you and the app won't sign up for any of the reward cards. Well, I would sign up for I some mean, reward cards, but there's got to be, it's got to be worth the value. I'm not going to give them my, my, you know, you got to put your miles, email, turn your, right all of that stuff, and, and, and your cell phone, and your name, your address, all for a discounted Whopper, and you, you know only get one. I probably Google your name, John, and find all of that information. It's probably already out there. It might be. Somewhere. You can have to work for it. You have to pay for your phone <laughs> number, work probably. Work yeah. What's that? Anyway. You have to pay for your phone number.
on fire inside. <laughs> exactly. It's too hot. There. Got a little big criminal mischief. All right. Thank you very much, Heather. Coming up next, it's our picks here on Stoney and Jansen, 97.1 The Ticket. here at the Bet River Sports Betting Minute brought to you by Bet River Sportsbook, Detroit's hometown sportsbook. Week 13 Pro Football Sunday, Indianapolis, a double-digit road favorite, minus 10 in Houston, total 45 and a half. But now that this is hit 10, really makes it an easy decision for me at least, and that's to take Houston plus the 10 points. Indianapolis should definitely be a big favorite in this game, but 10 for me is a bridge too far. I certainly think Houston can do enough to get this inside the numbers. So coming up Pro Football Make Sunday, turn. let's take Houston. Houston, a close your nose special. Houston plus 10 at home against Indy. That's it for this Bet River Sports Betting Minute brought to you by Bet River Sportsbook, Detroit's hometown sportsbook. Check out the latest lines today at BetRivers.com. I'm Nick Costos. Keep it locked here for more throughout the day. Must be 21. Playable in Michigan. Gambling problems? Call 1 800 7117. December 2021, I'm David Hall from Hall Financial. With the chance of mortgage interest rates on the rise, you don't want to miss out on your opportunity to lock in a low rate. Call Hall Financial today to see if you qualify for our no appraisal eight-day close. Our commitment to speed and client service has earned us over 4,000 five-star reviews. Get started now at 866-CALL-HALL or chat with us online at callhallfirst.com. Hall Financial, NMLS ID 1467435, equal housing lender. Hi, this is Rachel with Kroger. Join us in our first annual virtual food box drive starting November 10th through December 2nd. You can visit any local Kroger store to donate. All proceeds will provide food to families in need right here in Michigan. Thank you for helping end hunger with us. Where can I find a must-have laptop at a gotta-have-it price? With Staples Connect, it's possible. I need a holiday tech gift for my husband that will make his jaw drop at a price that won't drop mine. Also possible because Staples Connect has big savings on the best holiday tech. And now a Lenovo IdeaPad 5i with Intel i7 processor is just $649.99. You save $250. Explore what's new at your local Staples store or staplesconnect.com. And 12 4 limit 2 in store only while supplies last. You're always up for some fun with the family. So you order the essentials, a new board game, some baking supplies, and even a new projector for outdoor movie night. And with the Bank of America Customized Cash Rewards Credit Card, you can choose to earn 3% cash back on online shopping, which could increase up to 5.25% as a preferred rewards member. Rewards which you can put toward an extra treat that everyone will enjoy, like an old-fashioned popcorn machine. Visit bankofamerica.com slash more reporting and apply now. Copyright 2021 Bank of America Corporation. Stay in the left three lanes.
circumstances uh, take the dog. Uh, Oklahoma State, I, I kind of want to see them in this spot. Yeah. You know, they've never been in this spot before. And I almost feel like they're either going to absolutely blow them out or they're going to you know, kind of seize up and tighten up. So I'll take the points. Gregory. Yeah, I can't say any of these teams has been that impressive. State I can't say any team in the Big 12 has been that impressive. Look, Oklahoma State, if you watched <laughs> Bedlam uh, last Saturday, that was just a weird and, quite frankly, not good football game. Uh, when it comes to a game like this, you know, as the choker yes, says in the dark night, to take exit to and South Hill I'll take Baylor. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I'm on the island, eh? Turnovers. 
Uh, was it? I think I forget what the number was, but it's there. The top the yeah, 22 interceptions. They lead the nation in interceptions. 28, I think, total turnovers, which is third in the country. Yeah. So, yes, that's their reliance on turnovers. Michigan doesn't turn the ball over. Secondly, I was given up 31 sacks. That's second worst, second most to the Big Ten, only to Penn State. Now you're going up against two first-round picks and Aiden Hutchinson and David Ojabo. I think that's trouble for them, man. Hey, Michigan might come out a little sluggish, maybe a little Ohio State uh, hangover, but in the end, I think Michigan, their run game, their defense is going to uh, carry them, and they're going to win comfortably. I'll take Michigan. I, I truly believe that, all, that the only way Michigan loses this game or it's close is if, if Michigan fumbles running the football, and they haven't done it all year. All right. Uh, I like... Look, I think Michigan's going to win the game. I just see one of these backdoor covers. The Iowa scores late, you know, to cut a 17 lead to, to 10. Give me the Hawkeyes in the points. No chance. No chance. I, 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 as long as Michigan wins, that's all I care about. I know, about. I know. And there is uh, a long-term memory of what happened in yeah. Iowa City in 2016. Oh, yeah. That's, Safety. Uh, Oh, yeah. It's and, all game and could not get first downs, couldn't hold on to a lead. Michigan, as Greg uh, mentioned, some of the stats, the turnovers that Iowa has created. Michigan does not turn the ball over. The, what Michigan does defensively is they terrorize quarterbacks. And these two quarterbacks, Spencer Petras and is it Alex Padilla? Yeah. Neither of them want to look down and see those guys. They want to get the ball out of their hand as fast as possible, but they don't have anybody to throw it to except their tight end, hey. Sam, uh, Sam Laporta. Right. And he's he's their leading pass catcher in receptions and in yards. But they, this Michigan defense is rock solid. They're disciplined. They will take away every option Iowa has. Give me Michigan. Big Ten champs 2021. Oh, Kirk Ferentz is going to have to pull a Dan Campbell here. Like yeah. they did against the Rams. Or it's just the kitchen sink. <laughs> yeah, they might do that. Their special yep. teams are very good. Yep. All right. Let's go to the National Football League. Finally. Here we go. Monday night. Who thought that this was going to be a big game? The Patriots and the Bills. It just shows you what Belichick is. Uh, the Bills favorite at home, obviously. Minus two and a half. Greg Hargrave. Look, I probably thought this would be a big game. I'm sure we'll get into that a little later when he gets into his pick. But uh, look, hey, I know I usually take the points, but I'm going to do a little binge eating here. I'm going to lay those points. I'll take the Bills. Come on, let's go, Buffalo. All right. Uh, <laughs> it's the Patriots. The Bills are playing uh, not great football. They played okay last week. Uh, give me the Patriots. Okay. Um, uh, this quarterback, Mac Jones has won his first five road games. He's going on the on the road. He's going to face the Bills Mafia. I think that luck ends because of this Bills defense, and I think Josh Allen and the offense, they finally get some rhythm going. They finally get something going, and to your point, I think Bill Belichick is an outstanding and has been an outstanding coach to this. Yeah, and, 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 but I think it's more Josh McDaniels and what he's been able to do in generating offense for uh, Mac Jones uh, and making it simple for him, but give me the Bills at home, and I think this is going to be a dandy to watch. Gov. Yeah, so Greg kind of handed it. I was bullish on the Patriots before the season. I actually got a little tiny bet uh, for them winning that division. However, I think the Bills in this line is out of whack. And it's a nice spot to take the Bills because you're just asking for them to win at home, basically. Yep. I mean, look, and most teams win by three points or more if they win the game. I'm going to take the Bills here. I think they get right for a week. And I think that environment on Monday night is going to be crazy for Mac Jones. And the Bills squeak out a win here. All we need is for them is to win by a field goal at home. <laughs> That's right. All right. And finally, at Ford Field, is this the week? Vikings coming in to take on the Lions. Lions getting seven and a half points at home. The hook makes it definitely interesting. Lions pretty good against the spread. Seven and four. They played them tough in Minnesota. I don't know. I just, I think this is the game where Cousins hits Jefferson for three touchdowns. I'll take the Vikings. 
John? Uh, I'm going to take the Lions. I think that without Everson Griffin, um, he is out for this game, and he wreaked a little bit of havoc in the mind of Penny Sewell. Now that you have Taylor Decker back, the offensive line is a little bit more solid, and DeAndre Swift is out, Delvin Cook is out. I think that the I don't think the Lions win. I think they cover. Um, so give me the Lions. All right, Tom. Have the Lions scored over twenty points this year? Uh, once, and that would be opening day. And that was all trash in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Uh, I, I this game's impossible to pick. I would never bet on this in my life. And I know points at home are a premium, especially a plus touchdown. I just got a feeling the Vikings, it's going to be easy. The Lions, uh, they had their chance early this year against the Vikings. And the second time around, I, I'm with Stoney in this camp. I just think the, the Vikings are going to light them up. And this has got something, you know, like a 10, I, I think 10 points here at least. I mean, like a 24, 27, 14 type game. I just gave a score, so there's no way I'm bet, winning this bet. Greg. <laughs> uh, yes, hey, sometimes, look, eventually the Lions are going to get blown the hell out. I just don't know what week that's going to be. This team forces you to watch all 60 minutes of their games, or the game's over at halftime and you can do whatever you want at 2.30. I will take the Lions and the points. Yes. Foolishly, I will take the Lions and the points. And you're watching all 60 minutes. They force you. They'll make you. <laughs> That's right. And those are the picks. 97 one the ticket. Hey, I've been bragging about Level 1 Bank for a long time now. It's my personal bank. It's where I do my checking, my savings, and even my mortgage. And if you're looking to build a new home or buy a new home, if you're considering refinancing, I highly recommend Level 1 Bank. And here's why. I've got my mortgage with them, as I mentioned, and my experience with Level 1 Bank was, was outstanding. The communication with my loan officer was great the entire time. It happened when I refied, because I got a loan, and then I refied during the, the, the beginning of the pandemic. It was an ability to Zoom call. They were available, answering emails, answering phone calls. They did an outstanding job of communicating with me and structuring my loan in one that was beneficial to me and making sure I was getting the best available rate. Level One Bank has earned my trust for all those reasons. They also have a wide variety of mortgage programs. Listen to all of these. First time home buyer, new construction and renovation loans, jumbo loans, doctor loans. They even have a special mortgage program designed for first responders, medical professionals, teachers, and government or nonprofit employees. If you want to learn more about all of these programs, go to levelonebank.com. If you want to talk to someone, call Dan Irvin. You got questions you want to have somebody actually answer them right away, he's the guy to call at 866-707-LOAN. That's 866-707-LOAN. Level One Bank is a member of the FDIC and an equal housing lender. 97.1 The Ticket. Traffic. From the WWJ AM950 Traffic Center, this report brought to you by Biontech and Pfizer. Roads are still pretty decent this morning. No accidents or slowdowns right now. Construction is scheduled to block the two left lanes today, South 175 from McNichols to the Jameson. And there's a right lane closure coming up for 94 eastbound after East Outer Drive. Come rain or shine, high winds or mild breezes, blue skies are great. It's a great time to consider getting vaccinated against COVID-19. I'm Michelle Pena with traffic. The Detroit Pistons host the Oklahoma City Thunder. Pre-game Monday night at 6.35 on 97.1. The ticket. This is Homer Science. So we're going on to see sports, but it's sponsored by Five Hour Energy. It's the one when you got to get stuff done. No Mike McCarthy, no problem. Dallas' defense produced a quintessential performance intercepting Jason Hill four times, including a pick six by defensive tackle Carlos Watkins. The Cowboys needed this win, and they got it 27-17, and it confirmed that the gritty, versatile Hill isn't an NFL starting quarterback, sorry to say. I'm Homer Science. Before the long road trip. Before the big game, before the morning workout, start with 5-Hour Energy. It fixes tired fast and helps you feel alert, energized, and ready to tackle whatever's on your agenda. Even... Hey, babe. The sink is clogged. The weekend honey-do list. 5-Hour Energy. It's the one when you've got to get stuff done. Pick up some today. For more information, visit 5-HourEnergy.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. This is Claudia's O'Reilly Auto Parts story. I had just moved to a new city and barely even knew where the grocery store was yet. When my car wouldn't start one morning, I didn't know who to ask about local shops. But I remembered a name from back home, O'Reilly Auto Parts. I called and they
he pointed me to a great mechanic just down the street. Now, I feel a little more at home. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto parts. FanDuel user FanDuel's hooking up all customers with 50 bucks when you refer a friend. Plus, your friend will get $50. See for yourself why America's number one sportsbook app is FanDuel. Just sign up using the promo code Doug for this Monday night matchup. You can win $150 on a $5 bet. Remember, use the promo code Doug so they know that we sent you exclusively on the FanDuel Sportsbook app. Must be 21 or older and present in Michigan. New Year's is only $10 first deposit required. Must wager in designated offer market. Maximum bonus 150 bucks. Restrictions apply. See full terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help. FanDuel Sportsbook, the official partner of 97.1 The Ticket. Hi, I'm David Hall from Hall Financial. If you haven't refinanced your mortgage in 2021, you need to call Hall Financial right now to see if you qualify for the no appraisal eight-day close. 866-CALL-HALL, or you can chat with us online at callhallfirst.com. Tomorrow at 7, the Detroit Red Wings face the New York Islanders at Little Caesars Arena. 97.1 The Ticket Street Team will be there starting at 5.30. Get your tickets for every home game at DetroitRedWings.com. Incredible. First of all, 
I love Darius Slay. I had no idea if he even had an option where he was going to be traded. I don't know if he had a, no, you know, in one of those deals yeah, where yeah, no trade he clause. Say, yeah. So, but that's kind of interesting. Yeah. That that something like that is a reason. It's not their fault. It was the the referee's fault. Yeah. You yeah. hold grudges? Oh, uh, uh, yes. I, I hold grudges. Um, I hold many grudges. Um, in, insert Clinton Portis. Yes. Um, you know, there's a grudge there. Right. Um, every time I see Troy Aikman. Um, on TV, and, and I like him as a broadcaster, but every time I see him, I remember my Here's very first NFL game. Turn. Then turn right it was against the Dallas team. Cowboys. We were up by two touchdowns. We went into overtime. We lost that lead. We had a chance to kick a field goal to win it at the end, but no, we did not. We messed up. And Dow, uh, uh, Troy Aikman hit Rocket Ishmael on the opening drive. Game over. I hold a grudge. You hold a grudge. I go. Right. I hold a grudge. Uh, there's an official. Turn right onto Bass Street. Official. Then turn left I onto Cornell Street. At, right now. Was oh, he still officiating? Uh, no, he is retired. Okay. Uh, but he's since become somewhat of a friend. And uh, well, see, so he knows this then. Yes. Yeah, right? so, well, he knew it at the time. I got called for holding against Notre Dame. It was not a hold. And there have been ones where I, it's. The evidence is a little bit harder for me to prove that it wasn't a hole, Turn left uh, but Cornell this one Street. was clear then cut. The so is the very next play, I blocked uh, my guy with with one hand and waved at the official, and he came he came up to me in the huddle and said, "You're the biggest a hole I have ever seen play this game," and <laughs> I, to this day I hold it against him because he called Cornell me for holding. Street. It was not a hole.